What are our five best RV memberships? Stick around to the end for our top pick and our absolute favorite bonus one. Welcome back to OLT, our license to travel. Today, we want to address inquiries about RV memberships. We've got five of the top membership subscriptions and apps that are out there. Ones that we utilize for our travels. It's important to note that there are numerous ways to enhance your RVing experience. After all, there's camping and then there's glamping. Glamping, not camping. You could opt for the simple pleasures of RV life, such as immersing yourself in a boondocking location, surrounded by nature and tranquility. On the flip side, there's the beloved glamping approach, where you invest $150 or more a night in an RV resort, enjoying various amenities and activities in that area. So let's jump right in and take a look at our five best RVing memberships. Let us know what you think of our spin on this expansive topic our pro tips, and our most used. Number one, in no particular order, but the best we saved for last, Good Sam. Their memberships are about $39 a year and can save you about 10% at the approximate 2,000 participating campgrounds that they utilize. Plus, you get a discount when you're shopping at Camping World slash Gander RV locations. This is the main reason we keep it, for the discounts and they offer a roadside assistance program which has come in handy as well as a few cents off at Pilot and Flying J's. Just remember that you're paying close to 90% of full price for that campsite. Number two, Harvest Host. Now this is kind of a twofer. It's two for Tuesday! Which is Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome. This membership-based service offers over 4,600 locations across the United States and Canada. You see, at one time, they were separate companies, kind of doing the same thing with a slight difference in their company models. We'll start with Harvest Host and later get into Boondockers Welcome. You'll see why. Harvest Host is great, but you get to stay at some amazing off-the-beaten-path places, usually businesses, but it can also be a farm or a dairy. I guess they're businesses too. Now, many of these places are basically dry camping, no hookups, and are generally for only one night. Super if you need to get from here to there, and you can do it without the full hookups thing. However, we have known of some folks who asked if they could make it for a second night without any problems. The idea is that you will patronize the business, the brewery, winery, golf course, farm, ranch, museum, etc. You know, just buy something to show your support for their kindness. They have oftentimes been quite liberal with their generator policies as well. It is very convenient and can be an amazing experience. Be sure to call 24 hours ahead, even though we've been able to contact them in as little as a few hours notice in some cases. Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome costing around $100 per year and with no additional cost. It's ideal for shorter stays, typically one to two nights, and it beats the tar out of a Walmart parking lot. Nothing against Walmart. We shop there a lot. Now here's a pro tip. Purchase your subscription when it's on sale, because then you're locked into that price in spite of price increases. It could always change. Number three, Passport America. Kind of an enigma. It offers up to 50% off has about 1,200 plus participating discount campgrounds and is about $44 to join. But there is a catch. There are a lot of stipulations that you really need to research when booking your stay at one of their member campgrounds. Those parks usually have restrictions that limit weekends, special events, and high demand times from use. So you'll spend a little more time doing that research probably plan to use this membership if you can stay during the regular work week. Number four, we really save with this one. As we've said before, the key to this membership is that you have to use it to make it worth it. You can also stay at resorts, uh, Encore properties, which tend to be more of a glamping experience. They have a lot of larger parks with a lot of amenities, we have purchased the top tier membership and that allows us to do 
three weeks from park to park and not have to be out of the system for a week. However, many of the lower tier memberships will allow you to stay up to four nights from park to park without having to be out for that particular week. But what about the real money savers, like free, no cost, nothing, zilch, nada? Nada, zero, zilch, nothing, okay? Well, hashtag the other half of the twofer. This is where Boondockers Welcomes comes in. And yes, it is Harvest Host, but caters more to private properties. They are mostly RVers giving back to their community of RVers much of the time. Some folks call it lot docking, mooch docking, and or turf surfing. You might be staying in someone's driveway, on their private acreage, etc. It's said that about 70% of these places have some sort of power, maybe a garden hose connection or even an occasional sewer connection. They also offer pictures of those properties and contact info so you can see if that beautiful rig of yours can get in and back out again. If they offer any of these extras, it's highly suggested you offer to compensate them for the utilities in whatever form it is. It doesn't have to be a lot, but something, let's say five to 20 bucks. And a lot of times they will allow you to stay for several days. We've had some property owners fix us breakfast, take us on a tour of their favorite places in their community and show us the nice places to eat and unwind. Many have been or are still RVers and just would like to enjoy your company. Please enjoy theirs. Be kind and considerate. Number five, free. The last truly free camping is BLM or Bureau of Land Management. You know, public lands like national forests. These areas are all over the western U.S. and not so much back east. These are places that you can literally just pull off the road and dry camp for free. In the boondocks of the galaxy. Well, I guess parking on family property can be considered free too. Just depends on where that family is and can their roads and property accommodate you. Cancel his membership. Another pro tip. Now, Campendium, 20 bucks a year. Like Dirt Pro, 36 bucks a year and a few other apps can be of great assistance. It is essential to note that Campendium can provide reviews and insights for parks associated with Passport America and Thousand Trails, and both can help you find those great secluded off-grid spots. Hashtag bonus. Your bonus. <laughs> My bonus. Our most used camping subscription by far is RV Trip Wizard. Annually, it's about $65. Shelly uses this to plan and track all of our travels. It does have some amazing features. You can find vets, uh, veterinarians, groceries, campgrounds, fuel stops that it will calculate along your route. There is a cell phone GPS app for your phone as well. The only thing is that it's not quite as intuitive as you might want. However, there are lots of YouTube videos and they have a lot of info on their website on its use. It might take you just a little bit of practice to get the hang of it, but it has become indispensable to us. Choosing the right membership depends on your travel preferences and needs. We hope this information helps you make an informed decision and not just muddy the waters. Also, please remember that the prices we've mentioned are as of the posting of this video, and of course, they're subject to change at any time. So look them up for current information. We hope you enjoyed the five best RVing memberships as we see it. If you've got a moment or two and you'd like to help support our channel, there are several free ways to. Just watch another of our videos directly after this one. Maybe share one with a friend. We'll have a few choices at the end. We'll also list a few things that we use in the more notes below this video in the comments section. We hope we get to see you again next week right here on OLT. Until then, please travel safe.